previously on Azales TV. And now, the conclusion. It's everybody's favourite segment, mailbag. Let's get into it. Alrighty. Look at all this extra packaging. Dear me, me. Tremendous. Right, we have M2 threaded screws and nuts to hold switches and small electronics in our projects. M3 threaded nuts and screws and brass inserts. And these brass inserts. They will go in here. I'll drill in. I'll drill some holes in here. They'll push down, and then the lid will go on top and screw down like that. And that means I can take this apart and do stuff to it if I need to. And these are the screws I'll use. Hex head, black oxide coated M3 screws. Superb. But first. If I do anything else, I need to sand this smooth, make it all level. Now, in the first part, I said. I was originally going to cut a perspex window out of here, but then I said I had a better idea, and the better idea I've had is something like this. I'm going to cut out the window and some small windows here in a hexagonal pattern, which might be quite nice. It's going to be quite fiddly. I've got to cut out of the jeweler's saw and then cut out the corresponding perspex piece to fit in here, and it'll be a very tight fit and glued all the way around the edge and these ones that coloured in will have LEDs behind them so the LEDs are also on the where are we on the circuit board here the status LEDs they will shine through there but they'll also be replicated so we'll have the uh, what we've got the charging LED the power LED battery low LED and the fully charged LED all brought out to separate panels here and it will shine through the perspex. I'm also going to carry on the hexagonal pattern down the lid like this using this design. So here we have this part here, 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 here and here will be where the holes are cut out of the wooden perspex are put in and these parts here will be raised parts which will be glued on. Oh yeah, nice.
beautiful. Now just to mark out the extra parts here. I had the idea to do this after I'd already done this, so I have to lay it over the top and then mark through the paper. Okay, I've tried drilling these parts of wood here to accept this threaded brass insert, but I just don't have enough wood. I don't know if there's not enough material here, and it's blown the side of the material out here. So what I'm going to do instead, I'll drill these out to tap size for M3, and I'm just going to screw the screws directly into the wood, which works a lot better. Going into the wood actually works well. That fits right in there, look at That's a good fit. Well, that was exciting, wasn't it? Here is about three hours worth of work cutting the hexagonal pattern out of here, the main window, the smaller windows for the LEDs. And I've extended this pattern down with these wooden hexagons. Wooden freaking hexagons. That's glued together nice. So, I'm going to do some light sanding to clean up the edges. I've done a bit of filing, but it's, it's still a tiny bit rough, so I'm going to clean that up. And then I'm going to coat, coat the whole thing with an epoxy glaze to give it a smooth coat for the spray paint, and it'll fill up any gaps as well. Okay, epoxy glaze on this. Very bad idea. Well, the execution was bad. I mean, I've, I've had to paint it in the end. These paint brushes I used, Wilco Let's Create brand, garbage. These give out more hairs than you could even fathom. It was like trying to paint epoxy onto my projects using a cat. Absolute crap. So I spray painted the whole thing and sanded it and then spray painted it again and then sanded it again and then spray painted it and then sanded it and then spray painted it. I've actually used an entire can of spray paint but it looks good I mean I've missed out a bit 
car. I need to get another can and go over that, but I'll do that at a later date because time is getting on now. So I'm not going to put it on this because I've got just epoxy schmoo everywhere. It's dreadful. I need to get rid of all of this and, and just generally clean up. But yeah, it looks good in my most humble opinion. I'm trying to work out whether I should paint these bits in orange. I'm going to put a straw pole, I think, in the description. So you can all decide whether I should paint it orange or not. But anyway, the next step will be cutting out the acetate pieces for inside here and the one inside this, if I can get it to fit inside this properly. I mean, these are going to be like the tester pieces to make sure it glues in properly and it fits nice and the glue doesn't show through the plastic or make it look ugly or anything like that. So let's get cutting these out and gluing those in place. I've managed to put in the first two windows and it's been a very, very long process. I mean, it's been so, so difficult because I've had to cut them to shape and fit them and then cut a bit more off and then fit them all the time keeping the orientation correct because all of these are all hand cut so none of them are the same which makes it very very tricky I don't know how I'm going to do this yet what I might end up doing is putting a thinner sheet of perspex on the back so it's recessed which will actually tie it in quite nicely with the raised pieces here so you've got different levels and with that in mind I've actually got where is it some thinner sheet perspex which I can cut and then put so it's under here like that right on these windows I've put some epoxy on the back and I've ground the tops with sandpaper to frost them and that will diffuse the light a bit hopefully yes <laughs> it works it's working right we've got all the LEDs wired up temporarily to a breadboard this was a huge pain in the arse to solder I'll get you down right in here in a minute and show you got a power LED we've got the low battery LED because I'm charging a tablet and it's not enough juice in this to charge the tablet because I've not recharged this yet so if I unplug that low battery will go out because it's no longer charging this is no load on the output apart from this light and that one there so that works We've got a charging light coming on if I do this, and that works good. And I won't know if the charged light works yet until, until it's charged, so I'll have to leave it on overnight. I hope nothing explodes or catches fire or does anything else exciting. But that's working good. Right, let's get you in here and have a look. So here's the close-up shot. There's no common ground on any of this, so we've got lots of wires. I've left this charging overnight, and it has taken all night, because I don't think this is fully compatible with this circuit. But it works, so you know, if it takes a bit of, bit of time, then it doesn't matter, does it? Right, I've finished wiring up the rest of the LEDs into a more permanent solution. I've twisted the wire up like this, and nothing's broke off, or shorted out, or done anything interesting like that got the LEDs in here and these will sit inside the lid so that, that flaps around like that the lid's currently gluing because I've got the supports for these holes next job is to twist some spiral wrap around this wire to keep all that neat a bit like that and it's just enough room for all of this for that to go inside there like that for that to go inside the lid and for the lid to close and it works good right next up spiral wrap fun times spiral wrap let's go get the lid and see if the epoxy has fully chooched Wait. Mm. Yeah. They don't line up 
dead on the holes, but it's good enough, it holds it in place. Stops it springing out when I'm trying to screw it all together. Might put some more epoxy over these. Stop them flapping around in a breeze. Probably will overkill those fasteners, but they look pretty cool. <laughs> Although when it's closed, you're never going to see them. There you go. Right, let's see if it all fits. It should do because I tested it and it seemed to work. I've got to sort of poke this inside. There we go. Look at it. Uh, superb. Plug it in and charge it and see what lights up and everything else. I mean, it should still. Look at that. One frame, yeah. Plug this in. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Right, let's leave that charging and. Mm. For the most part it's done. Let's put these screws in and then we'll call it a day. Well that was part two of my USB power bank project. If you liked it give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to leave a comment down below and subscribe for more. I'll put out a new video every Tuesday. Don't forget to leave a comment or leave a straw, a straw poll if you want to see these race parts coloured in orange. I'll put a straw poll down in the doobly doo so check that out. Thanks again for watching and stay tuned. I will see you next Tuesday.